What up everybody? Today I'm going to be digging a little into the backstory of Ghost and talking about seven little known facts about James St. Patrick. Make sure to drop a little known fact that you know that I left out in this video in the comments. And also let me know if any of these facts is new information to any of y'all as well. I'm going to start off with a couple easy ones that might even be known by the casual power fan before I get into my more little known facts. Number one, Ghost grew up without a mother. At the end of Power Season 2, Ghost and Tommy were arguing about Ghost getting out the game and Tommy called Ghost a ghetto at corner boy with a drunk for a dad and no mom. This really pissed Ghost off and he was about to step to Tommy before composing himself. We also know that Ghost's dad was shot and killed when Ghost was just a teenager. After this, Kate Egan took James in and raised him as her own son. Though it is rumored that Ghost does have a brother, there has never been any hard evidence of this mentioned on the show. We do know that Ghost did move in with Tommy the night his father was killed and his uncle Gabe or any other family member hadn't seen him since. Fact number two, Ghost evaded the law for 25 years and was never even convicted for a single crime. This is a feat for anybody to make it to the age he was without even as much as a misdemeanor conviction let alone for someone who spent all those years as a drug dealer. Kanan told Tariq that Ghost's secret wasn't trying to outrun the cops. It was simply outrunning Tommy and Kanan, who both had several convictions. We can see this as a metaphor once he got off the corner even. By staying in the shadows, it would be harder to get caught by law enforcement. For the first several seasons of Power, other than Angela and Greg Knox, Law enforcement as a whole even thought that Tommy Egan was Ghost. It wasn't until Tony Teresi gave them Ghost identity when they learned for sure who Ghost really was. I know Angela charged him with the murder of Greg Knox, but being charged and convicted is two different things. Then there was the time he was closest to getting arrested, and that would have been for a DUI. But somehow he got Tasha to pick him up or something, so by the time they tested him, he was under the limit. Number three, ghosts ended the days of Tommy getting jumped every day after school. Tommy used to get jumped and had to fight every day after school until one day Ghost dealt with two boys who were picking on Tommy and nobody messed with Tommy again. I believe Ghost killed these two kids and that's what put a stop to all the bullying. And from this time, people knew Ghost was not to be played with. And like I've said on other videos, I would love for this to be the scene on Raising Canaan where Ghost and Tommy were introduced. Kate reminded Tommy of this story when he was supposed to kill Ghost, orders from Lobos, and it made him think about who saved him from a drive-by the night before. Kate said that James has always shown up for Tommy. Number four, Ghost was a track star in high school. There's a scene from Power around Season 3 where Ghost and Angela were working out together, running around the city, and they talked about how Angela would run with the boys sometimes in practice for the competition. And we know how Ghost is. He most likely only joined the track team because Angela ran track. And because he is naturally gifted at everything he does, of course he excelled in track too. Keep in mind all that weight he was lifting in prison also. Combine that with the man being a track star, that is somebody you probably don't want to fight. Fact number five, Ghost was offered a scholarship to go to Cho with Angela but didn't take it because he didn't want to leave Tommy behind. Of course, without Ghost's protection, Tommy might have gone back to getting jumped every day after school. Plus, Ghost already had one foot into the drug game as well. You can't help to wonder what if Ghost would have accepted the offer to choke with Angela. Would he have started selling drugs there like Tariq did and ended up getting expelled also? Or maybe Ghost wouldn't have got caught. Or maybe since Ghost didn't grow up privileged like Tariq, he would have made the most out of the situation and stayed clean. Fact number six, Ghost wanted to be a rapper when he was a kid, possibly before he became a drug dealer. Ghost's rap name was JSP, and Tommy went by DJ Tommy Tom. 
I can see Tommy being Ghost Hype Man if he would have made it as a rapper. Like a white Flavor Flav. Ghost was so slick, he wrote a song for Angela in high school before he went to choke. And he remembered that song. So when he met Tasha, he told her he wrote the song about her. I mean, the song was like eight bars. It would have taken ten minutes to write Tasha her own song. Well, at least Tasha never found out that song was originally for Angela. And getting me to my final fact. The true age of James St. Patrick. This was revealed on Power Episode 2. Way before the Democratic Party did a background check on Ghost, Angela did one on him after meeting him for the first time in years at True. And no, this is not a Photoshop picture. James St. Patrick was born in 1974. So this would actually make him 18 years old on the current Raising Canaan timeline. Now I know most everybody thought that Ghost was younger than Canaan because Canaan taught Tommy and Ghost the life. But Canaan is currently only 16 years old on the Raising Canaan timeline and was born in 1976. But with Canaan coming from a family of drug dealers, it's not much to think he could still taught Ghost and Tommy the game. At 18 years old, Ghost being a bookworm and Tommy being a white boy, they were probably green to the things of the streets. So Kanan, being a 16-year-old kid who already been raised in the game, could easily have gave Ghost and Tommy a basic street education. Or maybe Ghost was raised in a situation like Zeke Cross, where he grew up thinking he was one age, but he was really another. I mean, since he grew up with no mother and was raised by an alcoholic father, I wouldn't overlook this either. This would mean Ghost could be anywhere between 2-5 to five years older than Tommy Egan. I know it's hard to wrap your brain around, but it's solid evidence from the show. So we will only have to wait to see how it plays out. Leave your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments.